autoimmune disease refers to the inability of your dog's immune system to recognize their own body and therefore begins to attack and reject the body's own tissues. Now, this complex group of diseases has a number of triggers, but diet and the foods you feed your dog is one of the easiest and also one of the most effective starting places to both avoid and help reverse autoimmune responses. So today I wanted to look at the five foods that your dog should simply not touch if they have been diagnosed with any autoimmune disease. So stay tuned to learn more. Hi there, it's Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality. Welcome back to my channel, Happy Healthy Dogs, where it's my passion to help you help your dog live a longer, healthier life naturally. Thank you for being here, guys. I appreciate the support on the channel. If you're new to my channel and you want to, please don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell to be notified of all my free content videos. So let's get right into it today with the first one. Now, no surprises here, gluten. This is honestly one of the most inflammatory ingredients that you could feed to your dog, and it's found commonly in kibbles and, of course, in foods like pasta, bread, etc., which you might be feeding your dog in smaller amounts. Now, one of the reasons that your dog's immune system starts to get out of balance is due to inflammation in the gut and how this can affect the immune system over time. Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but trust me when I tell you that gluten is a big no-no for any dog with an autoimmune disease, or really for any dog at all. Now, gluten is a protein found in wheat and certain other grains that has the purpose in part of providing nitrogen to young germinating plants. But when it gets inside your dog's body, it can start to wreak havoc with their digestive system. Now, dogs are adapted creatures as we know and there are certainly dogs out there who have consumed gluten over the years with maybe little effect but we know that gluten has the ability to increase inflammation in the gut as well as cause general dysbiosis too and this is what can lead to the development of those autoimmune responses so whether it's kibble or other forms of greens please avoid gluten in all forms number two now this is probably also obvious for similar reasons in that it causes inflammation, dairy. Along with gluten, these two foods are really the top two triggers for autoimmune disease. And most of you might be thinking, well, you know, I don't really give my dog any dairy. When we think of autoimmune diseases in humans, this is always a really big one, but our dogs tend to eat much less dairy than we do. However, think about what you're currently feeding. Do you offer cheese in any form, lactose-free milk, or even plain yogurt? Regardless of the product type, dairy based on bovine or cow's milk contains protein that triggers inflammation and allergies. And they're a big no-no again for any autoimmune disease. So take this out of the equation as well. Okay, they're the top two, but what about the other three? There really are so many foods that can make things worse here, but I believe the next three are probably very much ones to avoid. So number three, legumes. I wanted to bring this one in because I know that there are a lot of people out there who like to feed their dog a more vegetarian or vegan based diet. So what is it about legumes that can be problematic here? Now legumes for many dogs, uh, lentils, chickpeas, etc., are very difficult to digest, particularly if they've got an autoimmune problem because their gut is going to be weaker than normal. Now, this means that they are more likely to be poorly affected by eating any of these legumes in any form. For example, um, as I said, lentils, and this can trigger further inflammation. Now, while there are dogs that can tolerate legumes, like the grains before I said, if properly prepared, dogs with any gut issues are best to give these a wide berth, at least until that gut has healed. Number four. Now, recently I've been having a few little issues with my own uh, gut health, and although I'm always really careful of my diet, um, it sort of seems to be more important now I've been through menopause. And I, you know, I've always loved eggs. I was always including them in my diet regularly. But my instinct started to tell me that maybe I needed to pull these out at least for a period of time and see what happened. Once I stopped eating eggs, I saw some really great improvement in my gut. Now, although I don't have an autoimmune disease, uh, clearly I had become sensitive to eggs despite them being organic. And this can be very much the case for dogs with autoimmune disease. So eggs is number four. I really love eggs for dogs as they're a great excellent source of protein uh, but it really is a good idea to take it out of the diet at least until the gut has healed 
um, making sure there's no more sensitivity or allergy. The issue with eggs generally is that they also contain a higher level of omega-6 depending on their quality. And this is known to trigger pro-inflammatory leukotriene LTB, which is actually produced by omega-6. And this inflammatory marker is characteristic of every autoimmune disease. Okay, finally, number five for today, really a group of foods and anything processed. Yes, look, I know that sounds obvious, but so many people I talk to that have a dog with an autoimmune disease have been prescribed a specific kibble-based diet from their vet. Now, all processed foods have the tendency to increase inflammation, cause gut issues, and are lower in nutrition than fresh foods. I strongly recommend all my clients and customers get their dogs away from these types of foods, whether they're grain or grain-free kibbles, and move to more natural anti-inflammatory foods. Now, if this is you and you've got a dog that has a problem and you're looking for some dietary support or you need to find out more about the foods that maybe they should or shouldn't be eating or you're a bit confused, please feel free to reach out to me. I always leave my uh, contact details below in the description. Um, and so I hope, guys, that you uh, found this video helpful today and those foods, five foods that you can quite easily take out of your dog's diet or maybe you're not feeding them at all and if you're not that's great but certainly for those doggies out there with autoimmune diseases remember that their dog uh, that their gut sorry will be weakened and so therefore certain uh, things just have to be avoided at least for shorter periods of time and potentially long term as well so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it as well. That way um, I can get more content out on YouTube uh, to help you. And I hope you're having a really good day here. Um, Poppy's just been out for a play with a little friend. So she's pretty much asleep at the moment. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I'll catch up with you again in my next video. But till then, bye for now.